Ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Gersbrook, also known as the Intrepid Wino, and welcome to another edition of Let's Taste. I, uh, again, was contacted by a winery, which is awesome. Uh, it's, it's such a, it's very flattering when wineries uh, get in contact with me and uh, offer to send me some samples to see my thoughts. Um, Tulangi. Tulangi is a winery in the Yarra Valley. Uh, they've been around a long time, so they are really um, classic Yarra Valley. And um, they offered to send me some samples, and I very uh, graciously accepted. And so I thought I would open them up uh, for your viewing pleasure. Um, if you are a fan of Tulangi, let me know. Uh, they are pretty well known for their Chardonnay, Pinot Noir in particular. And um, I thought, let's have a look at them side by side. So we've got 2013 Estate Chardonnay and 2010 Reserve Shiraz. So adjoining the Petrus Tulane State Forest. Okay, so let's have a look at the 2013 Estate Chardonnay recommended retail $38. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Quite pale. Hints of green, but you know, pale yellow. Straw almost. This is some um, very classic Yarabada Chardonnay, sort of what I consider to be fairly old school. Uh, yeah, by the Chardonnay, so showing some, some wood, showing some lees contact, some um, batonage, showing a hefty amount of malolactic fermentation, if not 100%. Um, but it also is showing the exuberance of the 2013 vintage from what I've seen of 2013. Um, really quite a lovely, ripe, very bold fruit. Uh, and I think this um, is showing that on the nose already. So it's lemon butter, peach, and yeah, it's showing that kind of creaminess of, of, of some mellow and of some lees contact. Let's taste. Really filling the mouth. Um, Lovely, um, complex, assured um, oak toastiness. That um, buttery toastiness is coming through malolactic uh, leaf contact. Is uh, is really it's quite rich, but still fresh. Still got lovely, vibrant fruit. It's it's sort of it is textbook Yarra Valley Chardonnay. Very much, you know, uh, uh, from showing uh, a winery that has been doing it a long time and knows exactly how to do it, how they want to do it, and uh, is not really bowing to trends or, uh, or or fads or anything like that. So uh, this is a really um, classic example of particularly Yarra Valley Chardonnay, and it it just sort of uh, uh, confirms something that I felt for a long time that the Yarra Valley region is Australia's premier Chardonnay region. So this is a very, very strong, strong expression of Chardonnay. Yep, stone fruits. Not quite too tropical, but um, no, it looks uh, very good. Let's have a look at the Reserve Shiraz. 2010 vintage, so it's got a little bit of age on it. Uh, and this is a recommended retail of $60. Um, Hello. 30 year old vines. Yeah, Yarra Glen. So I didn't realize this, but the wines are actually made by Dave Bicknell uh, at Oak Ridge. Dave Bicknell, quite possibly one of the absolute best winemakers in the Yarra Valley. So that says a lot. It says a lot. And and certainly the Chardonnay has hallmarks of his style. He's, uh, the Oak Ridge Chardonnay is arguably one of the best in the area. Let's have a look at the stress. Yep. Yeah. 
It, uh, it is quite dark, it is quite concentrated, but definitely shows that peppery note that you tend to see, or well, like I tend to see, in Yarra Valley, Shiraz and Syrah. Uh, particularly white pepper, and even a little bit of green pepper. But there are some dark purple, blue fruits, uh, blueberries. Um, there are some floral elements too. But it does have a, a, a slightly kind of sweet smelling, even though you can't smell sweetness, but a hint of, of, of barrel in there, which is giving it that kind of little bit of um, very, very delicate caramel sort of character. Let's taste. Flush, soft. Fresh focus, it's not tight like I, I, I have seen in some Yarabani Syrahs. Definitely, I would say there's probably no um, whole bunch or stalk stems at all in this, and um, that's keeping it quite soft. Uh, it's very juicy, it, there's some density to it, but it's still very fresh as well. Um, this is an excellent wine. I don't think it's quite shown full potential for Syrah and the Arrow Valley. Certainly, uh, I have seen some very exciting examples, and um, this is a this is a very good wine. It's a very good wine for for the price, but I, I think uh, Syrah has a lot more to show in the Arrow Valley. It possibly has something to do with the area. Yeah, no, but this is really, it's it's still a very good wine. Two thousand ten, uh, it's sitting very good sitting very well, excuse me, um, considering its age, so very drinkable. Well, there you go. Thank you very much to Wangi for sending me um, some bottles. I really do appreciate it. I'm honoured uh, to be able to share my impressions of these wines. Uh, and please, if you have tasted either of these wines or if you've tasted any Tulangi wines, please let me know in the comments and uh, share your experiences with these wines. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the Intrepid Wino channel on YouTube. Uh, and come and visit me at interpretwino.com. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. But until next time, cheers.